Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Gun Survivor. When we last left off, uh, we had finished making our trips through these optional areas, and man, we encountered just a little bit of everything, didn't we? So, moving on, we now have to go through the Umbrella Building. Hmm, what mysteries could be in there, I wonder? Well, not going to find out unless we go through the front door now, are we? Oh, straight off the bat. We have hunters. Oh my. Well, that's okay. We should be able to handle a hunter or two, more or less. Try and keep this guy jibbing out if we can get some rounds into his behind as he runs off into the distance. That would be great. And if I could turn my headset down, that'd be great. Jesus, fuck. Felt like he was inside me then. Oof. Right, anyway, let's go grab some Magnum rounds. Hmm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, not a lot we can really do out here. So, this place has definitely seen better days, that's for sure. Let's head through the... Oh my god, this... Why is this so loud? No, seriously. It's deafening me. Oh, hey, we got some shamblers. That's fine. Hey, get off me, you little bitch. Oi, what did I say? Hey, uh, uh, get your hand out of my pockets. Honestly. Zombies these days. Right, let's drop the herd, shall we? Luckily, we didn't actually take any damage from that. What's going on with my accuracy? Jeez, maybe I have a coffee deficiency. I have only drank so many liters of it today, I suppose. Meh, maybe on our way back from the horde we should have a swig. Fucking dangerous that is. Low coffee uh, blood levels, not good. Right, let's drop the rest of these. Are you dead? Nah, there's always one. There's always one that wants more. I like coffee, these guys like bullets. Fair enough. So that's the door we came in through. Let's keep going. Now if we go around here, uh, for some reason we're stuck on the corner, we can grab up a nice little herb. If the game's gonna let us take the herb. Thank you, dick. Uh, there is a door behind us. Well, it's actually an elevator, but it's, it's locked, can't use it. So, let's go on through here. And let's go up to lucky floor number 13. If I was in a hellscape like this, I'd want to be going to floor 13. Now, this place. Yep, hear that? We have liquors. Now, liquors aren't too bad as long as we walk softly, softly. Yeah, we don't want to wake those guys up. If we don't have to fight it, we won't. Because health is limited in this game. It's not too bad, but uh, it certainly could have been better. hear me who are you Wh what are you doing answer me don't think she can hear us arc did i say arc <laughs> oh silly me i of course mean uh, vincent Really not having a good time, is he, with his memory? Uh, it's kind of interesting. I remember when we was playing this as a kid, just how kind of, in well, I wouldn't go as far as saying we were engrossed into the storyline, but, you know, we were pretty interested in it. Uh, anyway, let's go pick up uh, not Chris's diary, which is what it looks like. Vincent's diary, eh? Commander Vincent's diary. October 10th. Last night, a group of guinea pigs conf uh, confined in the prison escaped, took weapons and caused a riot. The guinea pigs who were responsible for the incident were all shot to death by myself. But it will cause a lot of trouble if Umbrella Headquarters becomes aware of this. This could spoil my plan of returning to Headquarters and collecting my reward for this great achievement here in this city. I ordered the prison chief to report the incident as a mass suicide, 
But I will also have to order the others who are involved not to talk about it. November 8th, the people of the city who have been opposing me are now trying to gather information, uh, intending to report to headquarters what I did what I did yesterday. Strange. Um, that little boy, Lot, told me a spy sneaked into the city. I guess that spy may have something to do with the rebellion happening here. I'll let him for now. I'll let him for now. What does that mean? You'll let him do what? Give him a job? Uh, I don't know. And see who he works for. And why he's here. Then I'll kill him. It's a sad story that the only person that I can trust in this whole city is that little kid, Lot. November 19th. The people of the city seem to be preparing to hand the prosecution report to the headquarters. To the headquarters people? Is that what they're called? The headquarters people? Okay. Who are delivering the new guinea pigs next week. They said... They say that they can have evidence of my doings. I can never allow them to reveal that. Those civilians will regret what they are doing. I'll teach them what happens to those who oppose me. November uh, 22nd. Now they know who holds the power. I've spread the T-virus all over the city. Of course it was done so that it looked like an accident. The city should be completely contaminated. Now I can go back to Umbrellas and get promoted for my great achievements at the factory. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, golden parachute much? So you're in command of an entire Umbrella city and you've <laughs> fucked that up. Uh, but apparently he's done some good work in the factory. Okay. No one can oppose me now. Wait, there is one person that I have to take care of. It's that spy. I have to eliminate that rat who sneaked into the city. Yeah, my god, the writing in this game is awful. Like, a lot of people moan about the first uh, Resident Evil, and quite rightly so. Let's not, you know, forget how awful that was. But, come on. This is, this is something else. Uh, anyway, let's go get the key card. Oh, yes. It wasn't going to be that easy, was it? Going to have a minor setback here. Because let's be honest, these T103s are almost pointless, I suppose. I mean, I would say that your average zombie is more of a threat than these things. I don't think that's an exaggeration saying that either, to be honest. Like, these things just, well, I mean, yeah, they're not exactly, really? Oh, he just, like, donkey punched me in the back of the head. I mean, fair play to him. I have been shit-talking him. So, I suppose he's entitled to get a hit. Come on, dude. There we go. Give me my sweet reward for releasing you from your mortal coil. Ah, shotgun shells. Yeah, I guess we'll have them. Let's go grab our key card. Get the hell out of here. Let's go. Honestly, though, bloody hell. I can't believe he actually scored a hit on me. Okay. Ooh. Now we have liquors in here. That's curious. Very curious. When I was playing this uh, off cam. Uh, I had hunters in here. For some reason, the hunters had taken over. Not really sure. Hey, zombies. Yeah, you can get liquors in here as well, apparently. But I've never encountered that. That's always been zombies. Dude, do your freaking shoelaces up or something. You're embarrassing yourself. Jesus. Okay, let's continue taking out these scummy zombies. There we go. Liberal amounts of bullets for everybody. I mean, we've got plenty to spare. I'm also... I've, I've actually got rid of all of my Xbox One uh, control pads. Just got, like, rid of all of them. I actually sold them all on because I've got uh, Xbox Series S 
no, Xbox Series control pads now. Because uh, I, I really do prefer them. Is there anything else we can do in here? I don't think so. And what's great about these is they have Bluetooth. So I can just hook these up to my PC without using the Microsoft dongle anymore. Because I've got Bluetooth built into my motherboard, which is this is really cool. It's nice to see these little improvements coming along. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> freeze up a USB socket because uh, I, I really need USB sockets. They, they are at a premium. What? Vincent? It's me, your mother. My mother? Vincent, please. Listen to your mother. I want you to leave Umbrella. I want you to stop performing those terrible crimes and just come back home. <laughs> Which is, what? Stop it! Let me go! Shh! Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. What is the tape you are listening to? Let her alone. Put that down. I won't harm you. I promise. Liar. You'll kill me if I drop it. I'm not stupid. Now stay back. Don't come any closer. I know you think that I'm a murderer, but you're wrong. I would never do anything like that. Are you sure? Hmm, interesting. Well, looks like Vincent, who is us, apparently, just had a phone call from Mummy. And Mother Dearest has asked us to stop performing horrible experiments and give all that nonsense up and just come home and live happy ever after. Yes, Mother, I will stop cutting open children's brains and extracting the juice within, uh, and I'll come home for Sunday lunch. How does that sound? Jesus. Do they have writers for this game? But then that's what makes it entertaining, I suppose. You've obtained Vincent's tapping record. Tap dancing? What are we talking about here? Wire tapping? Oh, record of Vincent. We can no longer tolerate and the liver. We can no longer tolerate what Commander Vincent has been doing uh, to deprive him of it, of his position. We must obtain conclusive evidence of his evil doings and report it to headquarters. We realise that this is very that he is very intelligent and cautious. As a last resort. Though it was very dangerous for us, was to wiretap his phone conversations. Finally, we obtained evidence that was potent enough to deprive him of his position. This tape contains his conversations on the prison breaking incident last month. It proves that he shot those young people all by himself and that he tried to hide the truth. Furthermore, this tape reveals that before coming to the city, Vincent had killed his colleagues only for the purpose of his own promotion hmm sounds like a regular Wesker if we could hand this tape to the corporate people coming into the city next week he will lose his position for sure then the city will be peaceful once again uh, yes yeah, sure because um, umbrella wouldn't just you know give another monster um, mayorhood of the city god damn Okay, anyway, let's keep going. I don't think there's anything behind here. I think if we get close enough, you, yeah, supercomputers are lined up here. Yeah, I'd be curious to see how super they are. Ah, lovely. Right, that's so satisfying, uh, wasting off a whole magazine. Not sure why. It appears to be a supercomputer terminal. Yeah, I guess we can't do anything with it.
Ooh, we got ourselves a nice juicy red herb there. Well, I guess we better take it. Be uh pretty bad to just leave that thing there for the roaches right well I guess we're gonna go down the elevator that said the elevator hasn't arrived yet and would you believe it another T03 well that's okay good thing we have 658,000 bullets and then some I might add there we go Lovely. I do like the way they uh, stutter every now and again, like once you've done too much to them. Oh, look at that. You really did just donkey punch. I think I'm just getting slightly too close to them. And we're not, they're not quite behind us. So they're getting that cheeky little tap in. But they're not, they're really not that dangerous considering, you know, what they actually are. But hey, I guess it's fine. Hunters and lickers are way more dangerous in this game than those things. Anyway, let's go all the way down. And see if we can use our new keycard somewhere. Ooh. This place is pretty fucked up. Now, we can use that to turn this security system off or we can just walk through it um, if we don't turn the security system off we get a visit from these happy friendly fellows yeah yeah I think that's pretty much your only con consequence I think but you know we're not gonna do that because liquors uh, like hunters are pretty dangerous Come on. Ooh, we've got dags. Right, let's deal with the dags. Because we don't like dags around here. Oh, is it even worth it, actually? Is it worth taking them out? Maybe. Yeah, caught us on the reload there. Think. Yep, there's another one. I thought there was. Taking a lot of damage from these dogs. Got ya. Alright, let's finish them off. Wow, we're on danger. Uh, that's not good. Alright, so he's over there. Okay. That lock on thing's pretty useful. Here he comes. Come on. Oh, missed. Got ya, you little fucker. Accuracy. Thank you. Jeez, almost wiped out. I think we better munch a herb, wouldn't you say? Well, at least we have plenty of health, I suppose. Might as well use it. Smoke it if you need to, I suppose. Right, anyway, well, at least over here we have a grenade launcher. I'm sorry, grenade launcher. That sounds too, too accurate. This is a grenade gun. Yes. So we now have our trusty grenade gun. Let's keep moving. And I think that's nearly all there was. Yeah, and that's it. That's the umbrella facility. How about that, huh? Hey, don't go down there. Well, okay. I suppose we're going to follow some kids into the waterway, I guess. Alright. Well, let's keep going. At least we should have a decent supply of shotgun shells now. Oh, hey, friend. And there's a hunter stalking. Stalking through the waterway because why not I guess oh god that was awful 
Yeah, so if you shoot a hunter when they're mid-air, you will just instantly knock them to the ground, which is a pretty cool uh, yeah, thing. But, eh. That's easier said than done. It's probably fairly easy with a light gun, but doing it with a controller, eh, not so much. Now in here we have, like, I guess they're, I mean, obviously they're spiders, but I actually think they're black tiger spiders from RE1, because they're a lot freaking bigger. So we're not going to bother fighting those anyway. Funny enough, this leads us straight to a house. I wonder whose abode this will be. Let's go and explore, shall we? Hey guys, what's going on outside there? What's all this nonsense? Sorry, but we're not letting vagrants sleep in the hallway tonight. Where are you going, dude? Oi! Oi! There you go, I'm trying to help you, man. This is the best medication for a zombie. There we go, lovely. Right, let's go explore this uh, little quaint looking, very Japanese-esque house. Looks very Asian anyway. The old rice paper. Uh, yeah, even inside it's, mm. yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it has a very traditionally American or European look, but hey, whatever. What, what, what the fuck do I know? Do I look like an architect to you? Anyway, let's go through this door. And through this door, we should have the main bedroom. Yeah, this, oh, hey, sir. This is an interesting room because you've just got a zombie sitting there between the two beds. I'm guessing that's his mum and dad's, or Lot's mum and dad's bed. Why they sleep in separate but I don't know. But I'm guessing that's like his mum. Well, it's not going to be his mum, is it? But I wonder if that's his dad or something. Uh, not really sure. But I find this very interesting. This zombie, as far as I know, won't actually attack you. So, oh no, he will if we get close enough. Um, but if he's just crouched down like that, you can one-shot him with a headshot. And he'll just go straight down and die. Um, but yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. I thought that was quite interesting. They're, they're actually trying to have a bit of world building there. Uh, I guess they tried to do something, you know, try to give a bit of emotional background. But hey, I mean, it was an interesting effort. Much more than this game you would think deserves. Uh, right, let's go through here. One more door. I mean, you've got the kitchen. Uh, and the only other room is this one. So I don't know where the, the throne is around here. But hey, I guess we don't ask questions like that, do we? Maybe they got an outhouse. Uh, this is a very sad looking kids room, isn't it? But they do have a Street Fighter poster, so I guess things aren't all that bad. But they don't have a games console. They've got a VCR. A very square boxy TV. Um, okay, I guess. Right, but we do have a diary. Actually, I suppose... Oh, that door's moving. Let's fire God knows how many bullets through the slats, shall we? To murder anything within. Hopefully there's no children in there. Uh, you've obtained Lot's diary. We have indeed. Let's see what Lot was writing. September 10th. I saw some prisoners at the arcade today. They all had sleepy eyes. One of the girls even slavered. Well, that's strange. Some of the boys were glaring at me. They wore rugs. Rugs? How, hang on. Right, so... Umbrella <clears throat> is, you know, trying to treat these kids every now and again. I suppose it was actually the prison um, 
guard doing that act of kindness. So he was taking these um, contaminated specimens, a bit cold maybe, but that's what they were, out into the city to enjoy a bit of R&R. &R. They were even allowed to go to the nightclub. Uh, poor souls, actually, because that was a pretty sad nightclub. Um, so they were allowed to mix with the healthy people, which is curious. But the umbrella was dressing them in rugs as well just does that is that supposed to mean rags i don't know who knows anyway uh and smelled rotten like dad and commander vincent told me they are very different people from our umbrella families dad told me that they bring them to this island so they can operate on them and make them into decent people i think they're doing the right thing i hope they'll become decent people sometime soon yeah. Yeah, me too, lot. October 15th. I heard Commander Vincent killed these people who tried to escape from the prison. I wonder why such a thing happened. I know they're inferior to us, lot. Oh, dear. But did he have to kill them? Uh, this is... Is this what I believe in? Umbrella and my dad were supposed to help the inferiors by operating on them. Why did he kill them? The inferiors. Oof. November twen uh, 23rd. The city is in total panic. Monsters are everywhere and they are attacking people. Oops. Those umbrella people who were very nice to me suddenly started attacking me. I need help. Please, someone rescue me. Good thing he ripped that down. Uh, November 24th. My dad and my mum turned into monsters. One of the survivors told me that Commander Vincent turned the people in the city into monsters. I can't trust anyone now. I have to survive and protect my sister Lily. No matter what, we have to escape from the city together. Indeed, Lot. Indeed. Well, <clears throat> let's go have a little look. See what's hiding in this... Uh, Covered. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Where's your brother Lot? Please, you have to save my brother. He said he's going to the factory by the ropeway. Factory? told me that he could find a way to escape from this place inside the factory. But there are tons and tons of scary monsters there. Ooh. I know that if he goes there, he's going to be killed. What? <laughs> That's like some big revelation. <laughs> monsters kill people. Please. What? promise don't cry anymore lily lily and lot okay i may have been a bad person but that was before that's not who i am now i will save these two kids i swear it and save them we will i'll go find your brother and then come back for you okay <laughs> Her face is like totally misshapen and, and oh yeah. Yeah, you stay there, Lily. Uh, we'll go sort out these nasty monsters. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Monsters kill people, eh? Oof. That is a revelation. Well, let's go see what we can do over at the factory. Now, we're not going to get to the factory just yet. Oh, you silly sod. You fell over. Zombies, eh? All the dexterity of a dead donkey. Well, that's a bit unfair on the dead donkey, really. There we go. Not quite as sturdy as a mountain goat, are they? Ah, uh, where shall I end this video? Yeah, let's go on a little bit further. Let's go up here. Do we want the shotgun? Maybe. Maybe we do. So, we've got to get to the factory, eh? 
wonder what they were producing. Oh, God. If you guessed zombies and monsters, you'd be right. Oh, I hate dogs in this game. I really do. Come on. There we go. Yeah, dogs are needlessly difficult in this game as well. Mmm, yeah. Uh, oh, so we've got grenade... Yeah, we still don't have the magnum yet, though, do we? Grenade rounds. Let's get the shotgun. Equip that bad boy. How many shells have we got? Right, we've got 48 shotgun shells. Yeah, we're pretty good. Come on, dude. Yeah, you weren't expecting good old Vincent to be standing there with a fucking shotgun down your throat, were you? Ah, <sighs> right. Let's grab the green herb and move on. Uh, now, behind this door is... I can't actually remember. Uh, we'll, we'll discover it together. Oh. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, let's go. Spin the wheel. Now, the game hasn't told us what we're doing, but we're trying to get a... Uh, oh, what do you call them? There we go. Turned on the power. A lift to the factory. Now, now, this room is going to fill with bloody liquors, but we're not going to bother. I think liquors might be more dangerous than zombies, slightly. I mean, they're, they're kind of the same thing in a way. That's what we want. We want the tram. The cable car. Couldn't think of the words then. Because me brain not worked too good. Need more coffee, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Okay. I just need an IV with coffee. But then I won't be able to taste it, so... Right. <sighs> Let's get on board. Oh, on hey, board. sir. Don't worry. We have plenty of shotgun shells for you. And you're very welcome to have as many as you'd like. Yeah, this is like the most pointless cable car journey ever. It's... Yeah, maybe... Maybe six or seven meters. Oh, hello. Fuck. We didn't, for some reason. That was incredibly strange. Did we not get the door opening? Transition. Uh, shotgun shells, please. Thank. Oh, God. Right, you're gone. Get up. Yes. That's what I thought. Now, why you can't reload your weapons, I have literally no idea. I'm certain you can't, though. Ah. Uh, my mistake. I'll uh, just uh, be quiet over here now. Could have saved a lot of health by, you know, reloading our weapon. Uh, we do have a green herb. Excellent. Ah, oh, good God. All these years, I didn't think you could reload your weapons. Well, I mean, to be fair, I always tell you guys not to listen to me anyway, because uh, I'm full of shit. Right, so now we're here. Um, what I can remember is this, this is the fork in the road, isn't it? <clears throat> Not quite, but we're almost there. I think that would be the best place to leave it. I swear I don't know why people listen to me. Oh, hey, friend. Yes, help yourself up. Now, unfortunately, we kind of need to get behind this gentleman. Because there are dogs here. Um, we kind of need to get rid of the dogs. Luckily, as long as we have the back to the dude, he's not going to bother us, so. Why that's in the game, I don't know. But, I mean, small mercies, I suppose. Definitely be a much harder game. Oh, he's going to charge. Yep, that is an attack that they do. They will elbow charge you. Uh, it actually does a lot of damage. But it's fairly rare that they will even do that, to be honest. 
He's done. Next. Oh, more shotgun shells. Okay, thanks. I mean, dude, uh, if you would start dropping something a little bit stronger, uh, I wouldn't be opposed. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, wow, we're on 35 minutes. Dude, I had no idea. Yes, right. So this is the fork in the road. <clears throat> this is where we have multiple choices. So let's go grab this herb because we need it. We've actually used a lot of health. Uh, like, yeah, we, yeah. Hmm, hmm. That would be fine. I'm sure we'll make it through. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. <clears throat> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this with me. And when we come back, well, we're going to go have a little look at our options. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.